and this is the HTC Touch Pro 2. Again, um, we're calling it the 2 because it's an evolution of the, the previous product. One of the things that we heard last year when we announced Touch HD was a lot of power users saying, you know, oh my gosh, if you give me the Touch HD with the slide out keyboard, that's my dream device. That's it. That, that's, that's everything that I want. And so we we're like, oh, well, you know, we like to make people's dreams come true. So that's it, pretty much what we've done, which is we've got essentially the Touch HD here, and we've got a full five row slide out keyboard beneath it. Um, again, five row like we introduced on the original Pro, only now the keys are offset. So again, it's more like people's laptop and desktop keyboards, which makes typing much more natural on this. Also, because the HD has to be so large to fit such a large screen, we were able to make the keyboard much larger. It's a very, very comfortable, natural keyboard to type on. One of the other things people said when we launched the Pro was, what did you do with my tilt? Everybody loved the tilt of the Titan too, and so we've brought that back. And as you can see, now the screen tilts, and just like on the Titan 2, it tilts at any angle, not a fixed angle. So you can bring the screen up to sit on a desk nicely, or you can tilt it back just a little bit so that it's natural to type on while you've got it on your hands. This device also has a special feature which people didn't ask for, but which we really thought would be a helpful feature to the type of business class users who are looking at these big devices. And that is that we spent a lot of time thinking about how you know, enterprise devices, business devices are always so email and data centric. Um, somehow, at some point in time, business and email became synonymous. But the truth is that when you think about it, business isn't just done over email. Business is done with a lot of talking. Business is done with a lot of meetings. Mm -hmm. And so this phone has a lot of features that we all brand as straight talk, which are very focused on bringing voice, on bringing meetings, back to business, right? It's already a part of business. Why isn't? Why aren't they a part of business phones? Mm -hmm. So we've got a number of things which I can show you. So we can start with something like going to an email. And you can see we're in this email and right next to Grace, the sender's name, is a big green call button. If Grace sends you an email, you could probably email her and get into this really long chain, or you might be able to call her and resolve this issue in one minute. You know, we're going to make that easy for you. If, and let's see if I'm right, oh, there's only one sender here. Let's see. If we go to an email with a number of recipients, and we want to get everybody together to make a quick decision. We can hit the call button and quickly arrange a conference call between everybody who was on the email, both in the two line and the CC line. If in your schedule you have a lot of conference calls, we also have a pop up that will come up with the bridge number so that you can quickly dial into your conference calls. Mm -hmm. And finally, we added a hardware feature that allows you to turn any room into a conference room simply by flipping the phone over. If you're on a call with the Touch Pro 2 and you set the phone face down, 
it becomes a speaker phone. We've got two speakers and two microphones in this. So it's got a great loud sound and it's also got active noise cancellation. Okay. And is that a hardware control on the back of it? Believe it or not, this is. So this is a mute button that's built into the back. So when the Pro 2 is in speakerphone mode, this will light up. If you press it, it will light up red and it will mute your conversation. Because obviously the only other way to mute it would be to pull up the phone and hit the mute key, which would turn off speaker phones. Right. So we want to make sure that users are able to use this the same way they would use any other conferencing phone.